Hi guys, what is up? Happy Halloween. So, okay, Revival is the third book I've read by Stephen King, and I really liked it. I think it's my second favorite, just after Salem's Lot, which I read last year for Halloween. So this book tells the story of Jamie Norton over five decades of his life, and so it's kind of like a coming-of-age story um, going into different periods of his life, I guess. So we first meet him as a very young boy, and we follow him into his young adulthood where he's a musician and he gets helplessly addicted to heroin. And then from there, we follow him into his adulthood and his older adulthood ending the, uh, when he's in his 60s. And throughout his life, Jamie continues to have these meetings, these um, chance encounters, I guess, with this man, Charlie Jacobs. And so he first meets Charlie when he is just a kid, and Charlie moves in to his small town in Maine, of course, Stephen King, and he's the reverend of this new small town. And I won't get into any spoilers, but basically, Charlie Jacobs does endure a tragedy that makes him turn his back on God and leave the church after giving something that is referred to in their small town as the terrible sermon. And so he ends up getting fired and Jamie doesn't see him again until quite a while later. He has another chance encounter with him or an encounter with him quite a while later when he is an adult in the middle and the throes of his heroin addiction. And throughout the book, as I said, he continues to have meetings with this guy, Charlie Jacobs. And so this book is very much a cosmic horror book. It actually even opens with a quote by H.P. Lovecraft. That is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange aeons, even death may die. And if you know me, I love cosmic horror. It's my favorite horror subgenre, so this is definitely right up my alley. And so basically, this Charlie Jacobs kind of takes on the role of a mad scientist throughout the years that, throughout like the five decades that we are seeing him. And basically, after he turns his, God, his back on God, he's looking for... I guess, answers to the workings of the universe through more sinister ways to get these answers. And he's trying to search for answers through powers that humans were never meant to harness, which is where that very, like, cosmic Lovecraft horror element comes in. And in this case, it's with lightning or electricity. And so he's um, researching something that he calls the secret electricity, which is this, like, electricity that is... Like, it's supposed to be this, like, electricity that powers the universe that people are never supposed to know too much about and, like, never experiment with. And that is basically the, what, like, the beginning of the plot of this book. And if you've read anything by Stephen King, I think you'll probably know and appreciate that he does characters very well. And this is definitely no different. So Jamie Norton, I found, was a really great protagonist. I really loved reading about him. I was rooting for him throughout the whole book. Um, especially through like his heroin addiction, it was very difficult to read and he's, ju he's just very well done. And on that note, the antagonist of this book, Charlie Jacobs is also very well written and like so much so that you can almost sympathize with him throughout a lot of the book. And he's like, he's doing so much good, even though you kind of know, like you don't know but you know in your head that he has sinister intentions even if you don't know what they are but he's doing so much good and like his reasons are so he so soundly believes in them that he's doing the right thing that it's almost hard to even think of him as an antagonist for a lot of the book and you can kind of find yourself like sympathizing with him or thinking like like you know would I do the same in this position like would I feel the same when I think the same I mean probably not most people wouldn't but it, it is, he's very well written and he's very a well rounded, fleshed out villain. He's not just like cartoonishly evil. And so it's very good. It's very captivating. I really enjoyed the writing of this book as well. Um, it's very classic King. It's easy to read. It's also quite short, as you can see. Like, it's the shortest Stephen King book that I've read so far. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the atmosphere, which I find did fall a little bit flat for me throughout most of the book. Uh, so this is definitely a very slow burn horror. And for the first, I'd say two thirds of the book, it seems like I said, like a very like coming of age story of Jamie, just with these like, 
few horror elements sprinkled throughout as he has his like meetings and encounters throughout life with Charlie Jacobs. And to me, I guess that kind of horror atmosphere didn't really come through. And there were definitely some parts that were very unsettling, like for sure, for sure, very unsettling, but it didn't carry through the entire book. But that being said, the ending of this book was so good, was so dark, was so like creepy and unsettling and just genuinely terrifying with like the questions that it leaves you at the end that I would recommend this 100% just for the ending alone. So I will say the ending is very, very dark. And that is something I guess to maybe be aware of that it's, again, I'm not going to get into any spoilers. I'm just going to say that it's very dark. It's very, very bleak. And this book explores a lot of the questions of like what happens to us after we die and what like are are our choices that we make throughout life are we really making them like the our choices and the path that they lead us on are that is that for us to decide or is that preordained are our lives actually just kind of on a rail and we we have the illusion of choice but it's not actually there and that those are both some like questions that are explored in this book and like I said it's like very very dark very grim and I guess do our choices even matter if we're all going to be heading into like the same, you know, great beyond anyways. And I didn't want to get into spoilers. So I'm not, I didn't really want to spoil much of like the very Lovecraftian cosmic elements, but I promise they are there. And so, yeah, I really love this book. I think I gave it four stars and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who is a fan of cosmic horror. So a fan of Lovecraft, um, so it's like the, like, you know, incomprehensible horrors that are too much for like the human mind to to understand so elements like that if you like that I think you'd really like this book and also I would recommend this to fans of slow burn horror where throughout the first bit of the book you're like okay this doesn't seem so bad like you know is this guy really that bad like what's what's going on until the end when it all kind of comes crashing down and you're like oh yeah okay so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Bye.